Hi friends, welcome to Science and Stories. I'm so glad you're here. Can you help me sing our welcome song? It starts with a wave. Hello to everyone, and how are you today? We've come to our story time to laugh and sing and play. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. So roll your hands so slow. Can you make them go really slow? And then roll your hands so fast, as fast as you can. And give your hands a clap, 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 and lay them in your lap, lap, lap. I brought my science bag with me today. I bring it every time. There's always something different inside. Right? We're going to have to use all of our senses and try and guess what's in the science bag. We're going to make a prediction about what I'm going to pull out. Are you ready to use all of your senses? We're going to have to use our eyes to see, our ears to hear, our nose to smell, and our mouth to taste. And we'll use our fingers to touch. And then we'll learn so much. Are you ready to use all those senses? Let's start with your eyes. All right, use your eyes and take a look. And notice, is my science book bag full? Is it bulging? Or is whatever inside pretty small? It's pretty small. It's empty all the way up here. And whatever's in here is down here. Use your ears, listen. It sounds sort of crinkly. It's not hard. You'll have to borrow my hand since you can't touch the science bag today. It's not hard. It's not really soft, but it is crinkly. And I can hear it, too. I'll smell it. I'll let you know if it smells. Nope. No smell today. All right, so we know. We use our eyes. It's this big. We felt it. Not hard, not soft, but crinkly. It sounds crinkly, too. What do you think's inside? Do you have a guess? Do you have a prediction about what I'm going to pull out? Make your best guess. Go ahead. You got it? All right, let's see what we have in here. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Ta-da! That would have been hard to guess. There's two things inside today. Oh, this is a little finger puppet. I can put my finger in and make it fly. What is it? It's a butterfly, but not just any butterfly. What kind of butterfly? Can you tell by the colors of its wings? It's a monarch butterfly. That's a special kind of butterfly with orange and black wings. How about this? This puppet. It's a stick puppet. That was in there too. What is that? Can you see it? It's a caterpillar, but not just any caterpillar. It's a monarch. Do you see the pattern? Black, yellow, white, black, yellow, white, black, yellow, white stripes. It's a monarch. Now, how can this be a monarch and this be a monarch? How is that possible? Do you know? A caterpillar becomes a butterfly? How does that happen? Is it magic? Or is it science? You know, when scientists want to know more about something, they do research. I was thinking we could do research today. What could we use for our research? I have a book. Sometimes scientists read if they want to learn more about something. And I have a book that we can read today together to learn more. It's called The Butterfly by Anna Milborn and Kathy Shimon. Are you ready? Get comfortable. We're going to do some science research. Ooh, look at all the beautiful butterflies in the sky. And there's the monarch, orange and black.
the butterfly. It starts like this. At the end of the garden, there's a little stripy caterpillar. What do you think it's been doing all day? First, it ate up the leaf it was sitting on. And when that was gone, it started munching on the next one. There are lots of other hungry caterpillars too. There's a teeny tiny green one. Can you find it? A very chubby yellow one, a soft white hairy one, and a big fat fuzzy one. And all of them are eating as fast as they can chew. The little stripy caterpillar is not so little now, but still it keeps on eating. Munch, munch, munch. Soon it's even too fat for its skin. So it shrugs it off just like an old coat. And then it eats some more. One day, the caterpillar stops eating. Perhaps it's full. It curls up under a leaf and falls fast asleep. Slowly, its skin becomes a shiny case. It hangs there quietly, not moving at all, for a very long time. What do you think is happening inside? All at once, it starts to wriggle. It wriggles and wriggles until the case splits open and it inches its way out. The stripy caterpillar has become a beautiful butterfly. It stretches out its bright new wings in the warm sunshine. Then it flutters up into the wide blue sky. All kinds of pretty butterflies are flitting around the garden. There's a lacy white one, two speckled blue ones, and one with circles on its wings. The butterfly flutters from flower to flower, sipping sweet nectar from every one. At night, it folds its dainty wings and settles down to sleep. When it's time, the butterfly carefully lays some eggs. Each one is a little tiny pearl. Do you see them? How many eggs do you count? A few days later, a little stripy caterpillar pops out of each egg. They are all very very hungry. Can you guess what happens next? That's right. Munch, munch, munch. What did we learn in our research? We learned that the caterpillar makes a little case. Do you know what that case is called? For butterflies, it's called a chrysalis. That's a great science word.
I know a finger play that starts with a caterpillar and ends with a butterfly. You want to try it with me? Make your finger into a caterpillar, inching along. There was a little caterpillar hungry for his lunch. He climbed up on a milkweed. Munch, munch, munch. He made a little chrysalis. He was tucked away inside. And when he was good and ready, he became a butterfly. Can you turn your hand into a butterfly? Just cross it, join thumbs, and it's a butterfly. Do it with me one more time. You ready? Let's start with the caterpillar. There was a little caterpillar looking for his lunch. He crawled up on a milkweed leaf. Munch, munch, munch. He made a little chrysalis. He was tucked away inside. And when he was good and ready, he became a butterfly. Good job. I have some butterfly toys right here. Do you recognize these? I have a caterpillar. I have a... Do you remember what this case was called? A chrysalis. There's a butterfly. A monarch butterfly. We recognize that orange and black. And a leaf that has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs and one, two, three little stripy caterpillars. Can we put these in some kind of order? How did our story start? Did it start with the chrysalis? No. Remember, there were caterpillars in the beginning. One really hungry, stripy caterpillar. So we'll start with that. We'll put that up top on our tray. First, there was the caterpillar. He ate a lot of leaves. And when he was ready, he turned right into a butterfly. No, that's not what's next. What's next? Yeah, when he was ready, he tucked away inside of a chrysalis. And after a while, what came out of the chrysalis? Yeah, the butterfly's next. And the butterfly sipped nectar and flitted around the garden. And after a while, the butterfly, do you remember? Laid eggs on the milkweed leaf. And those eggs hatched out into these little stripy caterpillars. That's next. And they grew into a big caterpillar that ate until it was ready to make a chrysalis. And was in the chrysalis until it merged a butterfly. And then the butterfly lays eggs on the milkweed leaf. And the egg hatches out into these little stripy caterpillars that grow into this big caterpillar. And we're back at the beginning. The caterpillar eats until it's ready to make a chrysalis. The chrysalis breaks open and out emerges the butterfly. And that butterfly lays eggs. And it starts all over again. And it just keeps going around and around. That's the circle of life. Scientists call it a life cycle of how the caterpillar grows and changes and keeps going around and around. That is kind of like magic. Would you like to make a butterfly of your own that emerges from a chrysalis? Let me show you how. I like how my finger puppet flaps its wings and it looks like it's flying through the air. You can make one just like that that flaps its wings and flies through the air. This is all you need. A piece of paper with a butterfly drawn on it. Some crowns. I used orange and black 
and made mine the color of a monarch. But you can use it in any color. A popsicle stick and some glue. Put a little glue on your popsicle stick when you're ready. Stick on your butterfly right in the middle so that it flaps its wings. Just like that. I wanted to make a chrysalis too so I could have my butterfly emerge from the chrysalis. So I used a toilet paper tube. I painted it green so it would look like a monarch chrysalis. It's that beautiful jewel green color. And now I can tuck my butterfly into the toilet paper roll that has turned into my chrysalis. And when my butterfly is good and ready, it comes out of the chrysalis and flies away out to the garden to sip nectar. Give it a try. Thanks for coming to Science and Stories. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.